Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie and it's been a little while since I've been in here. Um, I actually went on a road trip, Candace and I did. We went up to visit John, the Cincinnati picker and family. And um, it was it was quite a trip. It w we left on last Tuesday. We stopped on the way overnight and then we got there Wednesday, and then we spent Wednesday night, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with John, Whitney, and the kids and stuff. And we had a ton of fun. So big thanks to John, uh, John and Whitney. They blocked out a lot of time to spend with us, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, we went garage sailing like three days, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, we went to the Air Force Museum. We went out to eat a bunch. Uh, we hung out at John and Whitney's house a bunch and it was just a lot of fun. Uh, it was a much needed uh, break for me, for sure. Um, probably added a little bit more to John and Whitney's plate. So again, I appreciate them being such good hosts and it was great to, uh, great to see them. So uh, I did on the way back yesterday, I drove straight through <laughs> Cincinnati all the way to Baton, uh, well, I don't li I live just outside of Baton Rouge. It was about 13 hours at 80 miles an hour. <laughs> it was, whoa. I was so tired last night when I got home. I think that might be the longest I've ever driven straight through. So I think before, I think other than that, I've driven straight through to Disney World and that's maybe 10 hours or so. And this was longer than that. So anyways, I'm back. And as you can see, we're gonna look at this stuff. Maybe we'll look, I'll look at a few highlights now, but um, you'll be seeing this in videos. I took footage of all the garage sales and stuff. Uh, I actually bought a bunch. This is a lot of stuff here. And um, yeah, we'll look at a few highlights here and there and uh, I'll get more in depth in some other videos and stuff. Also, I had these boxes right here waiting for me when I got back. I bought 500 of these. I need to clear up some space on those top shelves there so I can stow these. Uh, these are gonna be my primary makeup shipper box, which uh, actually today's orders, I'm filming I'm filming this intro clip uh, actually after the uh, sold clips. So I'm, I'm a little out of order here, but this is what I'm gonna ship a lot of them in. Uh, I'll put this one together real quick. Okay, I didn't let y'all see, but this is it, uh, six by, I think it's a six by four by two. It weighs a little less than two ounces and it's pretty strong. So uh, this is gonna be a much better shipper than the, I think I was using eight by six by four uh, a lot. Oh, and six by four by four. But that extra height was just unnecessary in a lot of cases. So I decided to go with something half as tall. And um, I have 500 of them. If I don't end up using all of them with the makeup, because I do some, some things need a little bigger box, like an eight by six by four. And um, sometimes I'll ship in just a bubble mailer. So if I don't end up using all of these for this, I'll use them for other stuff. Um, I'm always shipping out small stuff. This is gonna be a good box. How much should I pay for these? Let me look it up real quick. Okay, uh, this is them right here. $138.95 free ship for 500 of these. And the, the thing I like about them, they're sturdy but they're also quicker uh, quicker to use than a normal box because I put one piece of tape here, I put a small piece of tape here, and then I put a small piece of tape here, and it's locked down really nice. And it's, it's faster than using other boxes. So uh, yeah, uh, this comes out to 27.8 cents a piece. So not too bad. By the time I put, I might put a nickel of, uh, bubble wrap in there too whenever i'm packing it and that's it and maybe you know maybe a penny worth of tape or so i don't know uh and a penny label and you know it's all all told the shipping supplies for something for like this would be like maybe 35 cents or something which is acceptable in my opinion so uh yeah i'm pretty excited i get excited about stupid little detail things like that right oh uh something else that came in 
Um, I actually opened it last night and I filmed it, but the audio didn't come out uh, on it. So um, Ryan and Pam over at Thriftmine are selling these stickers now. And I think I got some of the first ones because he told me when they put them up for sale. I, I got on the website fast and uh, ordered mine. So I got one of each. I got this one and I got this one. And they're big. They're nice, big. I don't know if you can tell on this door, but they're die cut. And they're nice. I like them. This is kind of my sticker door and general catch-all junk <laughs> junk door that I put just odds and ends on. And fits in perfectly there. So, And it has that awesome thrift mine, keep dreaming you crazy dreamers, uh, saying on there. Which I really love. Because I'm a crazy dreamer. Imagine a lot of y'all are too. So... Go um, go look at Thriftmine YouTube channel, and there's a link to buy a sticker or two in, in there. I think it's like six bucks. Um, so, which I love. I love stickers. I think that's perfect kind of swag to show support for the YouTube channel. I may even get a sticker one day, too. Who knows? But, yeah, th that's those are really cool. And, uh, yeah, Pam and Ryan are really good people too. So I was glad to buy a sticker from them. I'm glad they made those available for sale. I hope they do well. Best of luck with your sticker sales, Ryan and Pam. Um, I'm going to show... I said I was going to show a couple of things. This is from... I, I tried to be extremely... Um, extremely disciplined. But sometimes... I, I think I was for the most part. I bought mostly good stuff. Um favorite pickup though is right here this is mm, we'll look at this oops it's upside down let me turn it back over this is an ibook i think it's upside down yeah it is this is a apple ibook from about somewhere around the year 2000 i think okay it says 1999 here uh, so yeah this is before they came out with they were, weren't calling them a MacBook yet, I guess. Uh, they had these cool des clamshell design. I got this one complete in box. It was $20 friggin' dollars at a garage sale. She wanted $25, and I talked her down to $20. This garage sale I bought this at was amazing. The stuff was just... Me, John and I both just bought a ton of stuff at that sale. Um, oh, i got to do this. Here we go. And the cool thing was the box is just immaculate like it's really a nice condition box and it comes with of course the iBook and the iBook is in fantastic condition like I couldn't find any signs of wear on this thing at all and um, when I power it up it does run it runs fine I even tried the optical drive which it does have. You can't hardly get optical drives on Apple computers anymore that I know of. At least I haven't seen one. Unless you get an external or something. So I'll go ahead and power this baby up real quick. And I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do. Like, I don't think it doesn't even have built in Wi Fi, uh, but it does have Ethernet, I think. So I could plug it into like a router or something if I wanted to test out the internet capability. But listen. It makes that old school sound. The, the new Macs don't even make that sound anymore. And it works fine. It's old. It's probably got like a 400 megahertz um, CPU or something like that. I think it's, you know, I don't know. What are the specs on this thing? It's, I think it's more of the collectability thing. I would not want to make this a daily driver kind of situation for sure. Uh, I don't, I think that would be difficult. Oh, it's got OS 9 on it. Computer did not shut down properly. Oh, the only issue it has, like, seriously, you can't, like, look at the trackpad. There's no wear on the trackpad. That's usually where you see some wear. There's nothing. It looks like it was never used. Uh, but the only issue it has, it doesn't hold a charge at all. Um, there, starting up. It doesn't hold a charge at all. So the second, even if you leave it plugged in for an hour, the second you unplug it, it shuts down. Uh, there is a battery compartment on the back. I'll, I probably won't replace the battery, but it would be a pretty easy replacement. It's definitely made to have a user replaceable battery. 
it's got jellyfish on the screen there see it's easy there's a battery compartment right there so but yeah it comes with this this power supply which is really an odd thing here and i've got i've got the original pack of disc here there's three discs in there like a quick start type guide user's guide um some kind of there's a printer cable looks like some other paperwork and then there's a i think this is probably a third party book here the ibook the little ibook book uh book level beginnerish so anyways i don't know exactly what this is going to be worth i think probably at least at least 300 and i might i might go a little higher i may try and get like 450 or or so see if i can get it and then i can work my way down because you sure as heck can't work your way up once it sells can you <laughs> but this was a really fun score not anything i want to collect uh, which is good because i can sell it <laughs> but i was this i think candace found this and i was like hang on to that <laughs> or i got it i grabbed it for her or whatever and then i cut the deal i was happy though i was very happy that's not uh that's not an everyday kind of find another sale i'll show you a couple more things um i don't want to spoil my other videos too much but i'll do it a little bit uh the another thing that i bought and i paid up for these these are four bats uh, they're they're actually in good shape i just have to clean them up a little bit but they're not scratched up much at all like i can clean them up like with any ma a magic eraser or something that's a marucci uh, cat seven bat drop eight then i have a john actually when we walked up to this sale john said uh look there's some bats he, he, at the previous sale there were bats and like i try not to barge in on on his deals like that because that's kind of what he specializes in and i'm i'm a visitor you know kind of riding along so i'm trying not to go too hard you know it's kind of weird uh which he wouldn't care anyway but i was trying to be respectful but uh anyway we get to another sale like right after he bought a bunch of bats and stuff and he said okay man this is all you and i'm like are you sure dude i don't want to do that he's like no nah, you can do it and so uh john had the grace to give me a deal and so i walked up i ended up paying 70 which is definitely paying up I paid seventy dollars for all all four of these bats, so I paid about what what does that work out to be? About a little under eighteen dollars per bat, but I think I'm going to make some pretty decent money. Here's another Marucci Hex Connect. I think I've sold that before. Hex Connect to Cat Seven. This is a an Easton S2 Drop Ten, and then one more. Uh, this is it's a fancy looking thing here, huh? Uh, what is this? Can't even. John and and not only not only did John say I could I could buy these, uh, he also picked out the four bats that I should buy. <laughs> there are a couple other bats there. He's like, yeah, you don't want to mess with those. Get these. I'm like, okay. Um, oh, it's a De Marini. Drop ten. So I can't read. Oh, it just says D Marini right there. Uh, CBZ-17. What's a CBZ-17 go for? I'll look it up. Okay, I swear I haven't looked any of these bats up yet until just now. And I looked up that D Marini. And I punched in D Marini CB-17-2917. And this says USSSA Retool. So I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'm not sure if that's a modification or something. But this is the same bat right here. Uh, 2917 drop 10. Why is that drop 10? Shouldn't that be drop... Am I wrong? Should that be drop 12? Am I wrong about that? Wait, what am I looking at here? Okay, hang on. Why is it drop 10? 2917... Half and half, composite, balanced. I thought that was the length and that was the weight. 
and then you just subtracted to get the drop that would actually be a 12 I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk to John about this and also find out what this retooled thing means um, yeah I'm confused here 2817 is 11 here <laughs> but anyway 2917 drop 10 is what mine says this one sold for 270 that one sold for 380 uh, here's one that says not retooled, but it's a different, it's 3020, not retooled, sold for 400. So I've got something here. <laughs> I don't know exactly how much I'm going to get, but golly, these are some big numbers. Uh, I don't know. I'm about to send John a message and see if, uh, Wow. I think I might owe John a beer the next time I see him. <laughs> okay. Thanks, John. Anyways, um, that's two of the things I bought that day. And we'll look at the rest of them at some other time. All right, gang. Just a quick uh, quick taste of some of the stuff I bought. And a quick how you doing, where have I been, stuff like that. And I will see you all again very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.